Alright, what is going on guys and girls? It's the short bear um, and we're gonna do a market recap slash um, trade recap for my day today. Um, I'm gonna go over my trades, um, telling you exactly what I did and um, yeah, just to just talk about, about um, my performance overall. Um, so this month I only had one loser day which was like two to three weeks ago I believe. And um, since then, it's only been basically green day after green day, um, sticking to, to the rules, to the plans, and um, killing it um, with the guys in chat. So, um, to do so, um, we stick to the best place, to the A setups, and if we see something else, which we grade then as B, um, C, or even worse than that, we won't play it with, uh, with as much size, um, giving us basically an edge. Um, and uh, I'm not going to tell too much um, about that, but um, th that's going to be another topic for another day. All right, so um, the first ticker was RBZ. All right, um, we started uh, in the pre market, um, and I'm going to tell you exactly why. So, um, RBZ, we did some research about the company. Um, I believe we had some um, some warrants above, all right. Um, we had some, some warrants that could be dumped. Um, but the, the major thing was um, we were gapping up and, um, and and the stock was really manipulated. So as you can see, we had some um, some updates just before last month right, where we bagged a lot of longs. So it, it popped really high um, and, and it crashed right away. Trying to pop could make it um, offering after offering and, um, and and since then it's been trading in, in this range from like four dollars and now until eight um, breaking out basically past days so um, so right here over this consolidation at six dollars right here um, the thing is we didn't move kind of organically um, but there were some some pumpers that pumped it up a bit um, and as you can see from yesterday, let me show you, we found some volume out of nowhere, all right, like that, um, which sh basically skyrocketed the, the stock from $5 to almost $7, uh, came back down, kind of trended up in the after hours and really gapped up um, in, in the pre-market. Um, and, and the thing is, there was really no news to, um, to, to justify this kind of move. So at this time, um, we knew, alright, they have some warrants. We don't know if they want to use it right now. They uh, have cash, not a lot, but they have enough cash. Um, so, so at this point, I was like, alright, you know what, if we get some longs bag, um, it, it's going to be enough, just because we have some, some dilution. We've got some longs that would be bagged, and at the same time, as I just showed you on the daily chart, we have some longs bagged from above that would really push the stock down, um, and and that's the first opportunity to really um, start covering into the range where we were trading ab um, above um, the gap, basically the gap down. Um, so this morning, I was looking at it. First of all, we didn't get any volume, all right, in here. Um, so I was like, all right, not playing it, but maybe at 8 a.m. they start to, to push it. And it's exactly what happened. So at, at, at a, um, 8 a.m. they started doing some volume, started pushing it a bit, um, trapping a bit, a bit of shorts here, uh, ramping it. Um, and I think I started even my first long, um, not here, but like in here, uh, which I trimmed and I added back everything towards here in this 8.30 mark as we were kind of topping out and I saw some big orders um, on, on the ask, on the offer, right in here at like 45-ish. Um, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to start right there. If it doesn't work out, I'm just going to hit the, the offer, get out. Um, so I started hitting it, as you can see right here, two orders. Um, right at the top, I think 33 and, and some at like 31 or 32, something like that. Uh, moved in my direction right away and the first target was um, this support right in here at eight dollars which was also like the whole mark and also the view app area but we crashed right away so i expected some kind of like grind down and like hit the view app right in here but we didn't move to the view app right away so i thought you know what i'm not going to cover anything here or did i cover no i didn't cover anything 
and I was like, all right, let me get some kind of bounce toward the 820 area. Um, I'm gonna move my stop down to the high on it, so 38, and, um, and, and I'm gonna cover into the wash. Uh, I just want to get bigger, even bigger here, um, just because I know the odds are, are pretty good here, and I was like, all right, maybe we'll get a fade down um, right away, a pretty hard fade. Um, but there were some conflicting things that I saw on the tape, uh, which told me, all right, you know what, I'd rather recycle my shares all the way down than um, try to fight it. So the um, thing I do was um, I covered, all right, I let it crash down, and I was like, maybe a second red candle, but we didn't. Retested once, spiked back up, and then I, th I saw and I, I saw this kind of action where we kind of soaked, and I was like, maybe they'll try to, um, to induce some shorts here and push it up towards 10. Um, so covered, and we popped right away, but in a matter which I really, really like. Kind of this quick pop, not really grind back, or, um, or the, this kind of springboard action where it pops up, but it was more like um, a forced, a forced move up over VWAP. Um, with no follow through, no big volume as you can see right here. Nothing really that, that said to me, all right, um, let's switch bias. So I was like, all right, we've got some resistance here. Um, let me short. So shorted my first piece right in here at like 8.06 or something, no, 8.04. Um, came back down to test basically the, the support um, and, and spiked back up. I was like, all right, you know what? I'm, I'm just gonna add more in like the 20s. I'm risking the same, same level um, as before. Basically using um, the cushion I built right in here to add back for a second win or break even. Um, so I, at this point, um, didn't get the pop high enough, came back down right away, as you can see. Um, but once we came back up, I was like, you know what? Um, I'm just gonna, um, sorry, I'm just gonna short more um, because we were building this kind of head and shoulder pattern. And I was like, I'm gonna add more and risk the top um, of this new consolidation, so the new resistance, uh, which we got. And then we got a nice move down, clear move down, um, back to the support, as you can see right here, and I took some off right away. Um, not not kind of um, holding and hoping, but as you can see, shorted right in here, took my profit, shorted back, and took off some here, just taking profit, 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 and more profit, and, and really using the range it had, and kind of the, the, bad, um, the, the bad volatility and, and kind of range it had. So um, took some off, popped right away back up towards eight. But as you can see, um, same thing, no real panic. All right, we got some volume just before as we broke down some, some pr uh, selling pressure, but on the pop really just absolutely nothing as you can see. So 7,000 compared to 21,000 and 25,000 just before. Um, so really just no fall through from, from the buyer's side. Um, and as we pop back over eight, but no panic and came back down right away, shorted again, um, risking now this new resistance at 820. We came back down, crashed under it. All right, so um, right here, crashed under it um, towards the support. I took some off right away. Um, but after that, I saw, all right, you know what? Um, this is kind of like the third time we, we retest. Um, so once, twice, and now the third time we broke under it, but like the breaking down volume, the, 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 the volume isn't that high for a breakdown, like it should be. And I wanted some follow through towards the, the lows, so towards this like 30 mark, um, which we didn't get, we just didn't get it. Um, so I was like, you know what, I'm just going to take it off for now. I'm, I'm happy with what I did. Um, and I, I want to move back really to, to trap some, um, some longs, some some more longs towards um, like the 810, 820 area to take them down. It just was a better risk ratio and a better uh, winning percentage. So I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna take, the, and, and I still, I just had some, a small piece left. So I just took it off and then it moved down. But as you can see, it did what I thought it would do, but just like one wave later, where it kind of trapped and didn't give really any pullback and move towards the 
$8 region again, where I wanted basically the, the, the longs to be back. So I saw that, saw the topping action right over eight, like they really tried to push it, as you can see on some, some bigger volume. Um, but even then, like couldn't make it, couldn't make it, the same idea as right in here. So I took one step and I thought, you know what, I'm, I'm seeing some big offers, gonna do the same thing as at the start. Um, I'm just gonna short here risk of the offers, which I did. As you can see, shorted twice, it got a nice move down, um, basically 10, yeah, a bit more than 10 cent. Um, just a, a nice single, as I said, taking profits. And I was up quite nicely at this point because the, the liquidity was was oh, not not big, big, like it's the pre-market, but for the pre-market, it was all right, like every single minute, like some, something over 10,000. So um, I, I felt pretty comfortable um, getting some... Uh, not some size, but like for a pre-market, some 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 good size. Like it, it was okay. Um, at this point, I wanted to to look what happened in um in, at at the open, and um, we got like it opened, crashed right away to like 7.50. So it's 50 cent. Like just just keep that in mind, and it reclaimed like like that. Like in one second, reclaimed from 7.50 all the way to eight. And at this point, I thought, you know what? That's exactly why I didn't want to uh, to hold. Um, just because the dilution is there, but not a lot, and um, they don't really need it. So at this point, I was like, it, it's gonna ramp up. But then I saw the rejection right away. Not even like one cent, cent over eight. As you can see, stopped at like seven ninety nine. Same thing as and at the same level we struggled in the pre market all time. Crash down, um, and then kind of waited for a pop higher. Um, so as you can see, if I waited for a pop higher, what did I do? Where, oh, right, um, saw the pop, um, didn't really pop. And on the second candle, I was like, maybe a continuation towards seven, um, 760. But we didn't get it, stuff right away. And I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna short some right in here for the, the breakdown, just under seven for me to cover. Um, but we didn't get it. So we didn't get it, uh, I shorted some, as I said. Uh, reclaimed right away, but I wanted to see how it reacted to the high of this candle, so right here. Um, and we struggled to break it. Um, showed some a bit of strength, but like we absorbed, absorbed, absorbed. Um, let it test, and I was like, all right, I'm gonna risk off 750. If it reclaims, I think we could make it back to the highs. And um, once that happened, and we stopped right away, like this um, inverted hammer candle, I added some more and even a bit more right in here on the second candle because the second candle I was like all right we got a wick here if we have strength we're gonna make it back over this candle here but we didn't so I added some more and um, crashed down but like absorbed like not a crash that you expect where it just flies through the lows but um, supported a bit too much uh, for my liking so took off some here uh, and took off uh, another big piece right in here, um, took off even more right in there, all right, as it kind of reclaimed now, uh, putting in this double uh, bottom. And um, I am not sure if I reshorted here or if, or if I covered just my last fifth or something. I think I covered my la last fifth here. Um, or I think it came up, I covered, and I maybe added some. Added some in here, and that's the ad basically back that I covered. But after that, um, so I expected a big move right away. Um, like that's why I covered because I expected, you know what? I'm, I think we're gonna test the highs again, and fail there. But it stuffed right away, like towards the view up area, as you can see, stuffed. Couldn't make it past. We would really struggle on this stock to kind of reclaim certain areas of support that should have been re um, respected if it was a long. Um, so it didn't make it and I knew, all right, it's going to crash back down. So I'm going to short. So short it more, um, added right away, um, and added even more. All right. Um, as we kind of, um, tried to push back, but wick back, like kind of selling pressure right away. Um, and before my stop was right here. And as I saw it crash back down and I added some size right in here, I moved the stop over here. Um, allowing me to wait a bit, um, crash down towards the low, and I was like, maybe we will support right, um, so again, like before, putting in a triple bottom, spec back up, so I covered my first third right there, um, had a nice pullback here, I could have added back, but I didn't want to, just because the stop would have been a bit too wide for, for the, the range I expected, 
because the gap wasn't that big on the stock. Um, so came back down, crashed towards seven, covered my first piece, or, or my second piece, I mean my second, third, crashed back under seven, and I saw, right, we're kind of supporting, kind of absorbing, so covered my last piece, I think, at um, um, 94 or 96, I can't remember exactly. But at this point, I was up really, really, really nicely on the day, all right, I was up quite nicely. And I thought, um, I'm, I'm gonna wait, I'm just gonna leave it alone, maybe I won't trade anymore. But then I saw just this action where they really tried supporting it, long stride to, to, to get in, but we just couldn't make clear strength move. Uh, move. So in this case, I'm always waiting for kind of two waves up, so in this case one, two pullback, so that's why I showed it here. And in this case, on, on this time frame, it looks like one, two, three, four. But on the smaller time frames, it was more like one, two. Um, but four waves is great too. Like it's it's not healthy for for a stock that moves up to do more than um, than, than than a certain amount of waves, especially when we get um, a smaller range. So you don't expect it to hold and then move up like in ten waves back to the top. Uh, just won't happen, or most likely it won't happen. Like in ninety nine percent of cases, it won't. So um, in this case, after the third wave, I was like two waves down or even a third one if it cracks. So I shorted some in here and you can't see it, but um, the idea was I'm shorting some here, risking the top. Um, but we broke out right away, so I took it off. All right, and, and the next candle stuffed right away. Um, so at this point, I underst understood what, what happened. So we just stuffed the view app again. Um, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna short. My first short was risking off this one, but as I saw more and more weakness, I added more and more uh, risking than this one, this level. Um, and as it came back down and kind of broke the trend up, um, I added some more. Covered my first piece in here, all right, um, right around this um, support area from the morning. Um, but we broke down, right? We started really doing some uh, less volume, as you can see, um, and really bagging the longs from the morning, that, that long right in this area, above seven, um, above seven, 10, even more. Um, so I, I started shorting pops. So first pop, so it popped once more, and I was like, all right, I want to add, but I want to add back more right in this range. But then we got this nice bigger pullback, shorted some more at 710 for the breakdown under the $7 area, um, because I know a lot of stops would be there um, and yeah, I crashed down under seven, really nice range at this point with a bit more volume. So I was like, all right, we're getting a bit overextended like in the morning and this stock likes to pull back um, like in, in, in longer time periods. So um, short, um, covered some here, let it spike a bit more, didn't add anything just because I thought that the volume is just not enough. Um, I could see it pop a bit more like in the 710 where I would like to add more but we crashed back down towards the last targets, um, took off everything into the spike with a bit more volume, which was really, really nice. Um, and we get it. Uh, we, we started getting um, the, this um, 161 um, extension, Fib extension right in here. So that's why I covered two. And at this point I was like, all right, now I'm really done. Like I'm, I played it in the pre-market. Remember pre-market, really nice win. At the open, a really nice win right here. Then I played the next bounce, really nice win here. Uh, but the thing is, it started doing the same thing over and over again. The longs came in, tried to support it. One wave, second wave, stuffed into the $7 um, area. So again, a major, a major support for the long side that can't be reclaimed. Um, so as we broke down right here and kind of uh, bounced a bit more, I shorted some 703, um, seeing some, some offers right in here for the liquidity because the liquidity wasn't that great at that point. So uh, seeing the big offers um, allowed me to get in. Um, crash back down, down, down towards the support. Took most off right in here. Uh, as you can see right there, just no volume at all. All right, so maybe got a few hundred shares. Um, can't remember exactly. Um, moved sideways and I thought maybe a last flush towards the 60s. Uh, added some more here. Um, my stop was right over here, over seven. Um, and yeah, spiked once, got back down, so saw some offers and bids got taken out. 
but right there got some more volume coming in I think some big short covering uh, and I covered right at seven um, which basically erased the last win which was right there so the win from seven to seven um, to, to six um, seventy three basically added back what I had and covered where um, I entered so break even trade um, for the last one and um, overall just amazing amazing ticker uh, and and worked hard uh, wor worked out perfectly all right perfectly um, only took a few losers as I said right there just with my starter um, and I think maybe here maybe like a, a small loser which I made back and more um, right away just after as I just had my starter in as I said uh, all right um, second one was IGC as you see, um, as I told you, like there was an S3, right? But this one had um, had no more shares that they could could issue from, right? This uh, 44 B5 uh, or B5s just um, used everything from the S3. They even had to amend it twice to um, to be able to do so. They posted a new S3, and as I said, if you click on it, see Edgar, and then the file number you're going to see that they don't have an effect filing for it uh, meaning they can't even raise from that so no raising from there um, but the nice thing was um, that they had some baggies so IGC had SSR on on this day uh, so today I'm gonna to show you the daily actually first so as you can remember, probably remember with the craze here, I think the marijuana run, cannabis run, uh, we, we definitely have some big, big baggies right in this area from um, like 170 until 15 even. And then other baggies from like the 170s to $3. So every time it pops, I expect it to have a lot of baggies pushing this thing down. Um, and yeah, uh, bounce after a few days, red, same thing, no news, supported. So I thought they may, um, they some insider may sell something or some big firm or something is trying to hold it up, um, trying to, to make a bit of money out of it or some kind of manipulator. So I expected, I, I expected to, to spike it um, in the few next days or at least tomorrow. Um, so they, they spiked it and they used the SSR really nicely on this one. Uh, so spiked it once out of nowhere, a uh, bit of volume coming in, a lot of volume actually coming in. Um, trapped a few more lungs in this consolidation, moved it up toward 180, so at that point we were up nearly 100%. Uh, but I saw, saw some bigger volume, right? some real panic right in here. Uh, maybe a few margin calls from before and um, some, some panic. So as it topped up there, saw some, um, so some big bid got taken out. They tried to support it, couldn't make it. And um, I'm gonna show you. So and on this one, spiked hard. All right, volume is there. Pulls back on lower volume. Um, completely like healthy. Spikes up on a bit uh, more volume. All right, can't make it. And and spikes and gets gets some really nice volume on the breakout. All right, so right in here. After that, we move on bigger volume. Some bigger panic uh, panic volume dumping volume uh, from the shorts covering. Come in here, and then we get the next pullback right there but the pullback is on big volume too all right the biggest volume was done on the candle from the dump actually so while trying to push up and then they move down on some bigger volume all right instead of um of kind of sh um, shorts um shorting a bit and like longs selling just a bit for the next move up in this case th there was some more dumping volume coming in so some big guys selling um, and as we spiked up, just look at the volume, just nothing, no volume at all during the spike. So that's where I wanted to enter, which I did right away. And I used uh, the py um, pyramid um, tactic to, to add to it. So add it first, add it some more, risking um, the, to the top of the consolidation. So 180 um, came back down. So got a fill right there, but not all and just fill the rest right in here. Move back down, got the next bounce, and as you can see right there, no volume, so the long uh, the longs are not buying anymore. Um, but there was some soaking, some serious soaking in the 160s. Um, so shorted some more, shorted even more, 
and then we kind of spiked over this area and I wanted to cover at least a piece just because I thought, you know what, if volume comes in, then I might want to kind of rip it up like in the morning. So I just thought, you know what, I'm just going to cover a bit um, and if it stops, I'm going to add it back. So got off um, out just a bit, my average was still over it um, and put it on right away and even more. And then I saw it at the, like the 162 area, so I hit it right there. Uh, someone filled me um, because, as I said, SSR, so got filled, um, got a nice fill right there. Um, and yeah, it took just a bit more. I wanted to break it, but couldn't. Someone was really absorbing, um, and and it broke just after and into the spike. I was expecting some kind of bigger move, so some kind of bigger dumping towards like 150-ish, but like it kind of stopped right away at 157, which is right around that support area, so previous resistance becomes support, support area right there. So I took off a good piece right there, um, and as I said, reclaimed, um, took off just a bit more, um, because my stop was supposed to be, um, I believe 162, just, just over this consolidation, because I didn't want it to reclaim. Um, but same thing, kind of didn't find any bids, so I reshorted everything. Uh, right in here, but then it kind of it tried to break uh, to break down, reclaimed a bit, um, covered most right there, um, but stuffed right away. So reshorted again what I covered, and sh and uh, got out everything at break even, or even a slight win. I think I think I made like 27, 28 bucks. Um, still like the, the locates will be bigger, but that's not a, a big thing. Um, RBZ pays for it um, easy. Um, after that, moves um, up, tries to find some volume. So we got some nice volume, some nice panic in this candle right there. Moves up, doesn't find nearly as much volume as before or as in the morning to break out. Doesn't find any bids. We got some absorbing and then some big offers came in um, and we, we dumped. And on the pop, just no volume, big offers. So I shorted some here. All right. And then some guy started dumping, covered everything in here, um, started to add back just a bit, all right, started just one half or like one sixth, I think, of the size I had right in here, uh, thinking we may unload like um, SNLO did back then, I don't know if you remember, kind of did the same thing, tried reclaiming, like at the end, everybody thought, all right, it's going to ramp, uh, held the view up the whole day, like you did right there, um, and then came back down to the view up, kind of normal, and then boom, dropped like 50%. So I thought we may see that, so added just a bit and covered right away as I saw, right? You know what? It's not doing exactly what I want it to do, so I'm just gonna cover, no hard feelings. Um, overall on this sticker, I believe I'm flat or up just a bit due to, um, to this short right there, all right? So um, two winners on the day, or let's say AGC, it, it just was like a break-even trade. Um, so one break-even trade and one really, really, really nice winner on this one, playing the whole range. Um, I think overall on this ticker, um, I made like $3 per share or something, something like that, with the range being like $2 or something. Something crazy. Um, I, I'm really, really pleased with the way I traded it, especially because this chart is not perfect to trade. But I really just waited for the best opportunities, best risk reward, best winning rate to really play it. And um, and yeah, I got, got rewarded because of that. Um, so let's keep the trend up. Um, as I said, one loser day this month. Um, and I think we have two or three days left this month to trade. Um, and, and, um, yeah, uh, and the month before I was green nearly every day. So, um, I had a, a winning streak going on of like 30 days before the red day. And now I'm like, um, at like 15, 17 or something, um, back to back green. And the one losing day was really okay. I recovered it the next day or like the next two days or something. So um, yeah, let's keep the trend up. Um, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments um, and I'll see you in the next one.